at the post. And they are rough. Tupelo Tides being put to the whip early. Hustled hard out of the gate there. Away in second comes Viding Xenia. Now Delantera gets a couple whip tap urges from Mojica. These three line up as they head into that clubhouse turn. Then a separation of two to the gray Heronetta. One in front of Bell Bottom Girl. And at the back of the pack, it suits my fancy. Seven links from top to bottom as they're just outside the six furlong marker. They go by the first quarter in 23 and two. Hot pace up top. Again, fast tempo will be in set by Delantera, the two favorites. Delantera to the outside, to the inside, it's Tupelo Tide. These two are three links in front of Vining Xenia, who tracks in third. Heronetta is fourth, about five and a half off a of pace, and a length to Suits My Fancy. And Bell Bottom Girls start to lose contact with the field. As they continue the run up the back stretch, they pass the half mile pole. The first half mile, 47 to 1, still hot fractions. To Pelo Tide to the inside of Delantera. These two are still sparring it out up top three in front of Heronetta, who comes to tackle to the outside. Fighting Xena is being urged along. Suits my fancy, starts to roll. Now Bell Bottom Girl is within 15 links of the leaders, and the two leaders are still to Pelo Tide and Delantera. Heronetta looking to pick up the pieces out there at hot tempo up top as the field runs by the quarter mile pole. Three quarters, one, 12 and three, and uh, to Pelo Tide. The head's coming up in the air as Heronetta attacks to the outside. Delantera digging down deep and she's trying to fight back from between horses but Heronetta has gained the upper hand in deep stretch and Heronetta benefits from that hot pace up top and picks up the pieces and rolls away late here. Heronetta the Indiana bred is going to win by almost two and a half in the end. Delantera game second long way back to Tupelo tied third. Bellbottom girl fourth. 138 and four.